Alrighty guys, so I will be having a giveaway on my channel for this month. If you guys are interested in winning a Xbox gift card, a PlayStation gift card, or a Steam gift card, all you have to do to enter is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. I will be picking a winner through the comment section, so make sure to stay active. Good luck guys, and enjoy the video. What is going on guys? My name is Rich or Right Away. How you guys doing, man? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully well. If not, uh, then hopefully this video can maybe cheer you up a bit or maybe just give you some good vibes, you know, sending out those positive vibes. Alright, but anyway guys, uh, today we actually have another episode to my DLC weapons of Black Ops 3 series. As you guys know, I've been running this series on my channel, basically kind of discussing with you guys uh, possible DLC weapons for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You guys seriously love DLC weapons, especially in Black Ops 3, man. Because Black Ops 3 had some awesome DLC weapons, and we haven't seen any DLC weapons yet in Infinite Warfare. So for right now, I'm talking DLC weapons for Black Ops 3, because I know Black Ops 3 and Treyarch, I know they stated that they will be adding DLC weapons, you know, throughout the whole entire year. Year of 2017 you know even when IW and Modern Warfare Master is out so that's a really really good sign and I kind of created this series to you know kind of get uh, opinions from you guys we can have we can discuss we can come up with the possibilities you guys always give me suggestions of what I should use in the next video and it's really awesome so if in case you guys don't know how this series works basically you guys comment in the comment section possible DLC weapons I use them for the next episode and pretty much just say like okay shout out to the people who you know picked out this weapon so I can use it you guys pretty much help me out with this series and it's cool you know these are possible DLC weapons these could be coming into Black Ops 3 you know soon you, you, we don't really know but it's an awesome way just to kind of discuss and just come up with possibilities I really like this series just to come up with nice ideas um, so it's really awesome so if you enjoy this episode a like rating would be very very much appreciated also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new we're on our way to 80,000 subscribers the road to 100k is very very real man the road to 100k is so real so if you guys can make sure to click that subscribe button if you guys are brand new also if you're interested in free COD points for either Black Ops 3 or Infinite Warfare because COD points have returned for Infinite Warfare. Make sure to check out the link, uh, the first link down in the description to free my apps. You basically download a few apps and then you can delete the apps after and then you redeem your points uh, to get some PSN gift cards, Xbox gift cards, Amazon, you know, everything's pretty much on there. I think Best Buy too. So if you want to buy anything at Best Buy, you know, go for it. I ain't judging. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video, guys. So of course, we always pick out five weapons, five weapons in the series. I try to pick like maybe like an assault rifle, some machine gun, you know, any type of primary weapon, uh, maybe like a melee weapon, a special weapon. So I try to have like some kind of diversity in the episode. But the first one here, and this is kind of interesting here, is a riot shield. So a riot shield or like an assault shield, whatever they're called. I think they're called riot shields. Um, but basically, so many of you guys actually commented this weapon. I was kind of confused. I was like, why is everyone commenting a riot shield? Does everyone really want like the riot shield, the, the, the most trolliest weapon in Call of Duty history, you know, back? Because I know so many people when riot shields were in the game, I think it was in Black Ops 2. I think it was in I think Modern Warfare 3. Was it in Modern Warfare 3? I'm pretty sure, actually. I think it was in uh, Modern Warfare 2 as well. But so many people used to run the Riot Shield and then the C4. So basically, they would have the Riot Shield out, right? And then people would be shooting at them. People can't kill them because they have a freaking shield right in front of them, right? And then they would just throw this and chuck the C4 and just explode them. That was like, literally the most trolliest weapon. I know people used to like camp in the corners with their Riot Shield and you couldn't kill them at all. Like, just you guys commented this and like you guys kind of make this series possible. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Since so many people are commenting the riot shield and like the assault shield and all that good stuff, I'm just gonna throw it in here. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Like, do you guys wanna see a riot shield come back into Black Ops 3? I, I was very surprised it wasn't in the game because I know it's been in a lot of recent Call of Duties. Was it in Ghost too? It might've been in Ghost. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong, I barely played Ghost, but nonetheless, like, it, Riot Shield has been in a lot of Call of Duty games, and this is just a, kind of like a staple, I feel, in Call of Duty, where you have a big-ass shield, and, like, no one can kill you, you know? Like, I don't know why they didn't add it in Black Ops 3, but many people were saying in my last video to use the Riot Shield as a special weapon, so this could be under the category of the NX Shadow Claw, and, of course, the, uh, what is it, the D13 Sector, so this could be a special weapon, you know, not really, like, a pistol or, like, a, a launcher, but this could be a special weapon, and there is 
a special category in Black Ops 3. There's barely any special weapons in the game, so the Riot Shield could definitely be in there, and uh, yeah, that's why I have it on my list. So the next one here, guys, we actually have a melee weapon of the episode. I try to have one melee weapon each episode, uh, but this time around, guys, a lot of you actually said this, which is really nice, because I, I think it's an awesome idea. Uh, you guys said claws, kind of like Wolverine claws, so basically it's like the brass knuckles, but kind of like, uh, you know, having the claws out, and I think that'd be really cool, you know? Imagine you have um, some kind of melee weapon where you kind of put on, I don't know, like a glove or some kind of like glove where he has like claws sticking out of it and you can just run up to people be like wolverine and just stab them so it's basically like a combat knife variation but more or less like claws and like a brass knuckles kind of thing it's kind of like a hybrid of like the combat knife and the brass knuckles you have it on your you know your hand and just like claws coming out like wolverine you guys wanted this weapon for a really long time i feel because i saw it in a bunch of my comment sections and a bunch of people really wanted this weapon to return or kind of you know be featured in call of duty in the supply drop system and i don't know why they actually haven't added this as well because i feel like this would be something that Treyarch actually adds, you know, and like David Vonderhaar kind of thinks of like as a melee weapon. So the claws, I, I don't know what I would name this thing. Maybe you guys can help me come up with a creative name in the comment section down below. But for now, we're just gonna name it Claws or Claw because um, I, you can literally be like a monster. I know like, uh, what's that weapon? I feel like it's like a weapon, like an alien kind of claw thing. I forget what it's called actually, the Nightbreaker. I think it might be called the Nightbreaker. That's kind of like the like, closest thing we have from a claw, but a lot of you guys wanted some kind of like Wolverine from like X-Men, um, kind of like claw thing. So you can just basically go up to people and just stab them, slice them up with a claw. I think it'd be pretty badass. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. A bunch of you guys commented that. So shout out to everyone who did. And yeah, that's on my list. So coming in here, we have the AK-74U. This is the next weapon for my list of uh, the top five weapons of this episode. This weapon, I love so much, man. It was in COD 4. As you guys know, in Modern Warfare Remastered right now, the AK-74U is a really, really awesome submachine gun. Like, it's such a beast submachine gun. And I know this weapon was also featured in Black Ops 1 as a submachine gun, too. So, this weapon really never did you wrong, I feel like. It was an always and always a solid submachine gun. And I don't know why, you know, this wasn't in, uh, you know, Black Ops 3 as a submachine gun DLC weapon. Like, they put the HD-40 in there. They put, like, a freaking nail gun, you know? They could definitely put in the AK-74U. And I think everyone, everyone loves the AK-74U. It's just that weapon where you could do so well with it and like it works for everyone You know, it's a great submachine gun Like I said, it was in COD 4 It was in Modern Warfare Remastered the game we have out right now And it's like such a solid submachine gun in that game as well And it was also in Black Ops 1 Black Ops 1 was my, fir my favorite Call of Duty if you guys didn't know So like I have a lot of good memories with the AK-74U So why, why isn't this gun in the game, man? Like why isn't this gun in the game? I think it'd be perfect you guys can let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. I saw a couple people on my last episode comment the AK-74U, and that's why I'm kind of just, you know, saying this and putting it on my list, because you guys are kind of helping me with this series, and a lot of you guys really want to see the AK-74U. So that's why I have it on my list. But uh, yeah, you guys can let me know what you guys think about this beautiful, beautiful AK-74U, kind of like the uh, this smaller little brother of the AK-47 almost, because it's kind of like the same weapon almost, but kind of same name, but just kind of like the smaller brother, you know, the SMG form of the AK. So you guys, like I said, can let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, but I think it'd be an awesome, awesome addition to Black Ops 3. So let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. So in the next one here, we actually have another submachine gun. I like submachine guns. I'm a, I'm a dominant submachine gun player. I think, you know, I can use assault, assault rifles here and there, maybe some shotguns, but I definitely like my case of SMGs. And this one right here is the PDW. Uh, this one I think would be an awesome, awesome addition to the game. If you guys don't know what the PDW is, basically it was a submachine gun in Black Ops 2. I don't think it was in, like, I think there was like a PDW pistol in one of the games. Was it in, I think it was Advanced Warfare. There was so, there's so many Call of Duties, man, but I think there was a pistol in Advanced Warfare called the PDW. We're not talking about the pistol. We're talking about that beautiful SMG boy from Black Ops 2. I gotta admit, that, that shit was good, man. That shit was good. I got that thing gold. I got that thing diamond. And, like, I remember running that thing with Suppressor in Black Ops 2 as well. So, like, this weapon was so good. And one thing that I really thought was awesome about the PDW, there was already, like, coding, like, kind of in Black Ops 3 in the files. Because I know I made a video about this a really long time ago. And for some odd reason, uh, in the files of Black Ops 3, there was coding. Like, it was, like, weapon underscore PDW. I'll try to find the picture on the screen and show it to you guys, but there was coding already for the PDW in Black Ops 3, and the, the weapon never came in as a DLC weapon. So I think the PDW would be absolutely fantastic 
for the submachine guns in Black Ops 3. It was so powerful in Black Ops 2. Like, it's like a fan favorite almost. It kind of goes hand in hand with like the MP7 for Black Ops 2 as well. So like, I really thought the, the PDW would be an awesome addition as a DLC weapon in Black Ops 3. You guys can let me know. A couple people actually commented that in my comment section. So I want to showcase that in my video. But let me know what you guys think about the PDW. And last, but certainly not least, we have an assault rifle here. And I'll try to mix it up in the next video. Maybe throw in some shotguns and LMGs in there and sniper rifles. But I have an assault rifle here. And a lot of you guys actually commented this on my last video. But right here, we have the ACR. Now, the ACR, man, holy crap. Like, what can I say about this weapon? Like, they're, like everyone knows the ACR, man. It was in a lot of Call of Duties, man. It was in Modern Warfare 2. It was in Modern Warfare 3. Like, everyone knows. Everyone dropped nukes and Moabs with this thing. Like, everyone knows the ACR. Such a famous assault rifle made by Infinity Ward. And you never know. Infinity Ward, you know, a, a gun from Infinity Ward, like the ACR, could make its way into, you know, Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon. Like, would you guys want to buy supply drops? to try and get an ACR. If, if the ACR was in supply drop somehow, if they added it as a DLC weapon, would you guys go crazy for the ACR? Me personally, I would. Like, I think everyone would be so happy, I man. You guys can let me know what you guys think about the ACR and coming into Black Ops 3. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the episode of DLC Weapons of Black Ops 3. If you guys enjoyed, a like rating would be very, very much appreciated. Also, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys wanna see for next episode? You guys can leave your suggestions in the comment section. Just tell me which DLC weapons you wanna be featured in the next one. You guys really help me out with this series. Thank you guys so, so much. And if you're brand new, if this is the first video you guys are watching of mine, make sure to click that subscribe button. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. And uh, if you guys are interested in free COD points, first link down in the description, make sure to check it out. And that's pretty much it. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys on another one.